Hey everybody, it's Monster01J and welcome again to the Tomb of Nostalgia, special Crypt of Corman edition. These are editions where we will examine the films of legendary producer Roger Corman, who is one of my favorite producers, filmmakers. And today I'm going to look at one of my all-time favorite Corman classics, 1981's Galaxy of Terror. Galaxy of Terror was made in response to Alien. And the film actually can stand on its own. It's, it's, it's a fun B-movie. It's got everything you look for in a B-movie. It's creepy, it's spooky, it's got a lot of cool gore, there's some great visuals. It's also got some nudity, which is again, Corman staples. This is what, you know, blood and boobs, that's Corman's thing. It's directed by a man named B.D. Clark. B.D. Clark really gives it a nice atmosphere. It's creepy throughout, there's some really nice visuals. James Cameron did the production design on the film and also did second unit directing. This is a film that really helped launch Cameron in, in his career. The atmosphere in the film was also helped by a really creepy score by Barry Schrader. And also future actor Bill Paxton was the set decorator on the movies. Galaxy of Terror is about a ship called the Quest, which is sent on a mission to the planet Morganthus, where another ship has disappeared. When they get there, they find that the crew of that ship is dead, and now they themselves are being murdered one by one, with their own fears being used against them. It's a really, really fun flick. It stars Edward Albert, Happy Days Aaron Moran, future Freddy Krueger Robert Englund, my favorite Martian Ray Walston, and genre favorite Sid Haig. Uh, it's a really spooky film. There's a lot of cool visuals, some very cool gore, and the special effects are really good, especially for Corman production. It might be one of his more ambitious productions, at least from the 80s era. Despite being inspired by Alien, again, it stands on its own. I think it becomes its own movie, and it's a fun little movie. It's a fun little cult classic, and it's among one of my favorites. I had the opportunity to see this film at the legendary Oratandy Theater in Hackensack on Thanksgiving night, 1981 of all, of all nights. At some point, I will discuss the Oratani Theater in a special segment because I, it's a very special place to me. But back to the film, it's a fun little movie, it's spooky, it's scary. It also makes a great double feature with another Corman classic called Forbidden World, which I will cover in, in a future installment. But Galaxy of Terror is one of my all-time favorite Corman B classics. It's a really fun movie, and I'm glad I got a chance to see it in a theater. And I highly recommend it as a really great Saturday Night Film Festival flick. It's a really, it's a lot of fun, and I think that fans of B-movies and Roger Corman and, and sci-fi horror will, will really enjoy this, this really fun little flick. Hey, I'm Monster Zero NJ, and thanks for joining me on the Tomb of Nostalgia. See you next time. Thank you.